Joining me with Reaction is the author of the number one New York Times bestseller, Culture of Corruption, Michelle Malkin. Well, it's willful and deliberate whitewashing of the civilizational threats that face us. And I was completely disgusted by the clip that you showed at the beginning of your show, Sean, because these optics suck, White House. I mean, we have four Americans who are dead, who were butchered and slaughtered because this administration did not have the foresight to fortify these embassies on the 11th anniversary of 9-11. And there he is with all of his fanboys and fangirls in Vegas raising money while they scream, I love you, in the middle of an international crisis. And yeah. how about his statement this afternoon in the Rose Garden? He couldn't muster up a single flash of anger or outrage that these Americans Tough day, are dead he said tonight. now? Tough day. Woe is me. The bloodlessness of his statement makes my blood boil, and it should boil and should make every American's blood boil, especially in this week, which was a tough week for all of the 3,000 no, families the of the people who of this, died Michelle, on 9 11. This is why everybody's blood should be boiling. Everybody. Because for nine and a half hours, the official position of the Obama administration State Department was an official apology to the people that breached our embassy and ripped down our flag. And he said, he, and we apologized to them? We apologized no, to the, them? Their major response is. It's whitewash. It always has been whitewash. What did the State Department do? What did the U.S. Embassy do after they were, they were caught with this ridiculous statement that the White House cut and ran from? They tried to delete it. And thanks to social media, uh, we had it at our site at twitchy.com, those deleted tweets that they tried yeah, to, to bury down the, the memory hole. And then we have this feckless lapdog media that's conspiring to make this whole issue about Romney instead of about Obama. It's on his hands. The buck stops with you, buddy. Right, Michelle Malkin.